Welcome to Business Live, I'm Mark Crossgrey. In BL tonight, first up, we got Supreme Ventures here trading in their shares. A sale, small sale here, connected parties selling a total of 12,764 shares during the period October 12th to October 14th, 2020. Probably nothing to read into here, just taking some you know, small profits, small shares off the table, or small liquidity, better said. Next up, we got Proven Investments, considering a dividend here. The board of directors is gonna get together. The meeting is slated uh, right around the corner, November 5th, 2020, and is gonna consider making a payment to all ordinary shareholders. Uh, proven Investments continuing to do very good things. They had you know, the big gains on some of their private equity holdings, especially Access Financial Shares. We'll see how they do now for the next quarter, next coming quarters, but they're doing very well on a profitability basis, folks. So let's see how they do you know, going into the tail end of 2020, 2021. Now, not so good news here. This is Tree of Knowledge International. Not a company that we've ever really spoken about too much, uh, cross-listed or something of that nature on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. You know, ticker symbol is TOKI or T-O-K-I. So not great news here. Uh, the Jamaica Stock Exchange has come out or the JSE has said on their website, jamstockx.com, the shares are suspended from trading due to overdue filings of the company's second quarter financials. That's the quarter ended June 30th, 2020. And they make it clear you know that this is you know more than 45 days overdue or so effective october 16th 2020 they also mentioned you know a few other bullet points or tidbits about you know effective timing or filing of changes to the company board of directors management and so forth but it looks like it's primarily about these quarterly returns that are not there or are not filed as yet now sagic or select funds some good news for them updated net asset value or nav something that you got to keep looking at you know if you're an investor in these things so the updated NAVs as at October 21st, 2020, Sajik or Select Funds Financial doing a bit better. It was really stuck at the high end of the 70 cents per share, now moving above 80 cents here. So this is Jamaican dollars, 81 cents, and let's say 7 tenths. But just to keep it simple, 81 cents, you know, roughly 82 cents. Now Sajik or Select Funds Manufacturing and Distribution, not doing as well. You know, these are good barometers, you know, for the sector as they were advertised by Sajik or their prospectuses and so forth, almost like exchange traded funds in our very own Jamaica. This one still sticking around there, 0.787, you know, Jamaican dollars are 78 cents, right beneath, you know, 79 cents. Last up now, Iron Rock Insurance. Having a tough time, you know, in general insurance. They're not one of the mid-size or big companies, but they're coming out here with their third quarter as well as their nine months. Now, the premiums keep growing. Those are gross premiums. So the third quarter here is a little bit better. We're gonna get into that. So gross premiums hitting 181 million Jamaican dollars from 156 million Jamaican dollars. And the underwriting loss is lower, which is a good thing. Still not getting to profitability yet, but 18.6 million loss from the underwriting versus 30 million you know, a year ago in 2019. Now, the good news is, or the good news is for the third quarter, not the nine months, we're gonna get to that. So earnings per share, EPS hits Jamaican two cents versus one cent. Now it's small, small earnings here. So we're talking about two cents per share. So, you know, they gotta grow this, but it's a tough industry, regulated and general insurance, you know, they're not above, you know, uh, you know, billion or billions of gross premiums yet. So they gotta get that market share, you know, to get this working or to get it going in terms of profitability. Now for the nine months or the year to date, still in the red, that's the issue. You know, last year to date of 13 million Jamaican, you know, netted off in shareholders equity, etc. So it's a tough sector. They probably need some more time. Give them some more time if you're a shareholder and see how that goes. I'm Mark Crossgrey and this is Business Life.